The other day, I came home from the gym and fed Tilly before taking a shower. Everything seemed normal until out of nowhere, our video camera captured this. Tilly decided to drag her kittens up four flights of stairs to drop them in a box in our at-home office. This box was left here for donations. Obviously, you can see the problem with this. It's a small box with just a bunch of stuff in it. How is this better for the kittens? I picked up the kitten and brought him, or her, back. We removed the pet bed from the pool area and added in some blankets, and she's stayed in that area since then. But we just found it just bizarre. Tilly gave birth in this room and has not wanted me to leave since the babies were born. To decide out of nowhere they needed to be moved is just odd. So we had to ask why. Here are the leading reasons a cat would move their kittens. Because they feel threatened, because it's dirty, or because the kittens outgrew the nest. There are other reasons like it's too bright. Well, it's not dirty. We replace the blankets pretty frequently. It's possible they outgrew the nest as the black one she picked up was trying to leave the pet bed the night before. We thought that removing the pet bed and providing access to the full pool would help with that. But we're not sure that was the reason since she put the kitten in an even smaller environment. Earlier that morning, before I left for the gym, Pippa came down and used the bathroom. She sat on the recently catified pet ledge for a little while as well, which has not happened really since the kittens were born. That might have been the problem with feeling threatened, although she's been fine with Pippa eating downstairs. The other problem is that I left for the gym three days in a row this week. She has been wanting me to be there with her, so potentially without my protection, she feels unsafe. We have no concerns about her moving them to a different location, but it can't be in a box that has stuff in it. Anyway, we found this really strange and still aren't really sure why she chose to move them. If you have a theory about why she did this, let us know in the comments section down below. Some updates on the kittens in future videos for this week. We have not yet determined the gender of our kittens and plan to do a gender reveal on Saturday, May 13th. That's one day before Mother's Day in the US. After we know the genders, we plan to name the kittens by the following week. Watch the video, what color will the kittens be for a potential clue as to what gender they might be. We have not thought about kitten names after losing one so early on, but we figure by then we will be safe enough to assume they will survive and we can start giving them names. Right now I'm just calling them by their color, so white, gray, black. I think one of them sneezy and there's a dopey. And That's the seven dwarves. Like that. Call them, you know, bub. You know, I call them, I say, hey, bub or chief. Or if you have suggestions for names of the kittens, please leave them in the comments section below. We are also going to do a live stream of our kittens at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, May 12th. This is the time of day the kittens are most active and by that time they should be walking around and playing much more. This will be live footage, so who knows what will happen on kitten cam? But you'll also have the chance to ask questions in the live chat if you have any. We will leave it posted on the channel in case you want to watch it later. Later this week we are going to post a video that answers why we started Pippa's Pride of Cats. We also created some playlists on the channel so that newcomers can easily get caught up on the story so far. Or if you're feeling it, you can binge earlier content with ease. Final update that I thought was pretty cool and would share. Pippa would sit back and watch Tilly and I play fetch. Well, the other night our camera caught Pippa when she was alone and she was practicing with the toy on how to pick it up. I thought that was super neat, like she wants to play but doesn't want to embarrass herself. So she practiced with it in secret. They are definitely learning from each other. We post our cat stories daily, so stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to join the pride. Scratch out some comments down below. Use your mouse to share this video and put your paws on that like button. Thanks.